Hello, and welcome to Another Healthy Heart. Uh, praise God for allowing me to be here with my brother and my sister. And we met some years ago. I'm going to try not to cry, but if I do, so be it. The word says that you sow in tears, you're reaping joy. Oh, yeah. So I just thank God for this opportunity. And if this healthy heart helps you in any way, please, uh, please share, please tell somebody. And would you introduce yourselves? Yeah, my name is Amos, um, Amos Luca. Um, and this is my wife. Um, Mr. Luca. All right, yes. And this man right here. I call him Pastor Amos because that's who he is. Yeah, and I just say what I say because it's the whole truth. Now, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. We got to tell it. Yeah. No shame in our game because yeah, God right. has given us this to tell it. Mm -hmm. So I would like to ask, and Vesta, you anytime. When I met Vesta, I met her as a wife of her husband. And I've never seen a wife like that in my life. That's something that I can strive. I need to. I need to. Not, I'm not soup yet. I need to do that. But I watch her. I'm telling yeah, the whole you're truth. Right. Yeah, you're right. I, I, I mean, mean, you guys, they take the word of God literal. Oh, yeah. Jiminy Cricket. Yeah. But anywho, so um, I just love you because you mean so much to me. Both of you do. Thank you. Know? you. But now, this is my first question. When you reflect on your life, can you think of a time that you had your very first heart smile? Because we smile on the outside, but we're not always smiling on the inside. And sometimes vice versa, but your heart smile, that's where it makes a big difference. Can you think of a time? Yeah, um, I, I would say the very day I met my wife, I remember, you know, uh, nine years ago. Um, Ten? Yeah, ten. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, ten years ago, um, I remember when I called her, she said, I'm not at home. She is somewhere else. And, uh, you know, I said, hey, I want to see you. And, uh, wow. You know, uh, we actually met. We had a program in their church, and uh, they hosted us. She was among those that cooked for us. and. What country? In, in Nigeria. Nigeria. Uh, back okay. in Nigeria because then I was actually uh, coordinating programs for Word of Life uh, Nigeria, an organization that is involved in reaching out to young people uh, through live uh, performing drama uh, in schools, uh, like colleges and in high schools. And so we usually partner with churches uh, uh -huh. to be our host. And then they will cook for us as we go around schools to present the drama to them. So her home church hosted us. Okay. So she was among those who cooked for us. And my very good friend introduced me to her. He's, he was like, hey, you know what? I want you to disciple her. Oh, look at God. It's a setup. And, you know, I said, well, I'm not going to do that. And uh, Honestly, I didn't get her number that day, but, you know, after I left, you know, I began to kind of like think over the whole thing mm. and think all the time, if I stay alone, it comes into my mind. I wow. Said, I said to my friend, do you know what? Can you give me that number? Wow. I need to reach out to her. And... Did you feel something too? Or kind of, not initially? Yeah. You just have a servant heart. Yeah. Look at God. You know. That's the wife I'm talking about. <laughs> Man, you let that be a servant. And God sent him to yeah. see his wife. Yeah. Look at God. Yeah. So this might be the same answer, but a time that you just stood in awe of God. Oh, yeah. And what he did for you, for his glory. Oh, yes. What was what the time? Was that the same time, or can you think of another time? Yeah, um, I think I, I would say that when God called me into the ministry, how old? I remember uh, then, I, I think I was, I cannot imagine when, how, how old was I, uh, let me say, uh, probably 20, I would say 20, 24. Oh, wow. Yeah, 24, 24, 25, yeah, 24. Um, you know, I, you know, th that time I, I cannot just imagine mm -hmm. uh, what really happened. Because I, I was actually trained, I went to school, studied engineering, chemical engineering, precisely. What? So and that was yeah. not your, like, no, you didn't like, I'm going to grow up and be a pastor. Not, not at all. The intention was actually to work with 
probably an oil company where I would get a lot of money and all of that. Look at God. And everyone around me was supportive. Uh, not until when the Lord actually revealed to me what he wants me to do through my own father. And, uh, you know, uh, honestly, Is your father a, a minister? He, yeah, he was a pastor. Okay. And, uh, you know, so he really has impacted my life. And, mm -hmm. and when the Lord called me, and even with the resistance from people, uh, mm. who, who think that I have lost it all. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, it was actually discouraging. But honestly, at that point of my life, God kept revealing things to me that wow. made me to... Uh, to, to look at God as an awesome God. Uh, mm. I stood in awe of who He mm. is in my life. At that you know, early on. That early wow. Of my life. So, did you need a lot of prompting to come here to the States? How did that come about? Yeah, I, I would say yes. Um, yes, because honestly, the Lord was so much involved in everything um, from the beginning, how it started unfolding. It was like a play. Mm. Like a junk. Uh, but it was a move of faith. Mm -hmm. I would say, oh, I mean, my wife is a witness to that. And I, I know we've been praying before I got married to my wife. I told her what I intend to do if the Lord permits me, if the Lord wills and directs me in that direction. This is my desire. And wow. I, I want to be exposed, I want to be experienced, I want to connect. Oh wow! And, you know, because I believe that ministry is not all about you know the the, the area that we lead. Ministry is global, mm. so I have this global perspective. You take it literal. Yeah, so, Go ye therefore everywhere. You know, yeah. So I mean, it was it was clear that you know even in the scripture, Mark ten will talk about you know leaving your 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 father, and mother, mm. and your father, people. And going somewhere. So was Vesta pregnant when you left? Well, I had to be. Yeah, she was. Yeah. Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> she was good at pregnant when she made it over here in the winter with no coat. Oh, I was like, what kind of people is this? <laughs> I was oh, watching you guys yeah. from afar. Because right. it made no sense to me. It made no earthly sense yeah. that you would be here. Then you got a pregnant, real pregnant wife. Yeah. And then. Girl, yeah. and then to see you in the airport mm -hmm. without a coat. <laughs> right. I mean, you, you know, that, that was just the Lord's doing. I, I left home with this positive mind and believing that God was going to walk things out. Mm. The way he was going to walk it, I, I didn't really understand it from the beginning. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. I really want to appreciate it because honestly God just put things in place that I spent just a few months and then my family joined me wow. even at a point that I thought maybe they are not going to secure a visa to come because she was pregnant yeah but everything just unfolded that's what has literally right. and I'm yeah. saying this on purpose yeah you know being in this country when I see people that take the word of God literal then it shows me how far I need to become. And one time I asked you, you didn't really know me like that, but I asked you to come over here and pray for a brother. And y'all, yeah. you know what he did? Yeah. He came! Oh, yeah. <laughs> he came. Yeah. And I was like, look at and God. We appreciate your hospitality. We yeah. have. But, but no. <laughs> you know, it's just, yeah, I was just, I can't, there's not even words to express. And it's another thing that I need to ask you, how do you stay in carriage when there is discouragement? Things when um, you text me, we had at our church years ago, uh, the pastor at that time, we read about martyrs or people that was persecuted because they were Christians, and you never thought you would know nobody. You'd be like, oh, I wonder how they felt. Oh, oh man. But then when I got your text and to hear that that was people from your home, was it people that you knew? Uh, not, not really. Uh, but villages that are close to our villages. How did um, you? What? Yeah, a different tribe, but very yeah. close, like uh, 30 minutes away uh, from our own village.